Hey MIG Toes, this is Vention. Had a good weekend. Thought I would share a few thoughts with you. Um, this is uh, my usual rambling, unscripted video. <laughs> um, basically, to start out with, uh, lost another pound. and I'm now down 17 pounds. Loving it. Um, I hit a barrier. Um, about uh, two weeks ago and my weight loss crashed to a halt and um, then in the past back when I would just diet temporarily thinking that I could solve a permanent problem by uh, with a temporary solution <laughs> uh, sometimes that works in certain situations but not really uh, reliably so uh, but now I have a permanent solution, uh, which is the uh, no sugar, no wheat diet. And basically I was, um, I just sort of rebounded. My body was trying desperately to keep its old weight. And, um, but then just persistence, you know, because I, ha I feel so much better on this diet that, uh, than I felt before. I... Um, there's no way I'm going back. I don't think I would go back even if I was fat again. <laughs> because uh, it's just that I have so much more energy. I mean, I can work out in the yard and work at work and for hours and hours and not get tired. But whereas before, man, I was like almost tired before I even started. <laughs> so yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, so I'm now down 17 pounds. I'm down to 220. And, uh, and I'm feeling a lot more slim. I'm no ravishing Rick Rude, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm doing pretty good. Um, and I think my ideal weight, I might reach it eventually, like maybe probably around 200 pounds, I think, for 5'11", 200 pounds. Uh, I think that'd probably be good. But um, what I wanted to discuss was... Uh, the principles of permaculture and how they apply to a good lifestyle, whether it's MIGTO or whatever whatever lifestyle you happen to have, um, there are 12 principles which are of permaculture, which constant, which like are a guide for people who are trying to get some kind of sustainability out of uh, out of their uh, properties that they are living on and. Uh, but it also works in your life. People have applied the principles of permaculture to their, uh, to their businesses and their, their careers and their, their relationships and their, uh, as well as their gardening and their, uh, their food production efforts. Um, so I'd like to quickly go over them and then point out a couple of places where it applies to me, where it really, really does apply. Okay, let's quickly start here. 12 Sustainable Design Principles of Permaculture. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a uh, link. Observe and interact. Watch how the things, basically to me that just means watch how the things that you uh, do, the decisions you make in your life. Observe how they change your life, improve it or make it worse and uh, then interact and make decisions. Catch and store energy. Now that's a big one right there. Um, uh, I will get back to that one. <clears throat> Obtain a yield. That's a big one right there. Um, you can't really uh, maintain things if you don't maintain a yield. Like uh, for example the guy who wrote the uTorrent program uh, who basically created this awesome software, uh, and he was doing it just out of the goodness of his heart, and he basically, eventually, his generosity just ran out, and he couldn't do it anymore. And uh, so then he started uh, putting malware into the things that does things like uh, like uh, changes your home page to Yahoo, and he makes money off of that and uh, and stuff like that. And he ended up uh, not being able to maintain uh, what he was doing without 
a, basically he ran out of his momentum and he couldn't keep doing it for free. Uh, so basically you have to maintain or obtain a yield in what you do. Uh, otherwise it will, you'll probably not have the energy to continue with it. Um, four, apply self-regulation and feedback. Um, have some self-restraint. Um, that goes into like seed saving and, uh, and um, you know, saving money as well <laughs> so that you'll be ready for the next year. Use and value renewable resources and services. Uh, for me, uh, I utilize uh, renewable resources in a way that, um, for example, out in my garden, the uh, I don't spray, <clears throat> but I have a, a nest of wasps that live nearby, and they're constantly running around my garden looking at little holes and leaves and then they land, to, they're looking for what made the hole. <laughs> and then I saw one grab something, not too, uh, like last year. And he landed on a fence post nearby and I was able to sort of sneak up on it and look at what it was eating. And it, it was a little gray worm about maybe three-eighths of an inch long. It was, you know, not very big at all. So if it wasn't for that renewable resource of those wasps uh, and services here um, I would have to like spray toxins on my garden produce no waste I do things like uh, composting you know that's that's important stuff um, yeah okay design from patterns to details look at it look at a big huge pattern if you're looking at your future you want to decide roughly what kind of shape your future will take then you can start filling in the details. Uh, integrate rather than segregate. If you, uh, if you plant a couple of different plants together, for example, beans and corns and squash, uh, they'll have a tendency to help each other and uh, they'll grow better together than they would apart. Um, so basically, yeah, okay, use small and slow solutions. You know, uh, haste makes waste. Uh, don't try to take on giant projects and make insanely huge uh, changes in your life, uh, unless it's like an emergency. <laughs> uh, and instead, take it a little bit at a time. Uh, for example, I considered making a really big garden, but instead I decided to just work on it a little at a time and expand it slowly over a few years. Um, <clears throat> same, same, with, uh, same with your career and things like that. Use and value diversity. Yeah, that, that goes into it. Uh, use edges and the marginal. Uh, edges uh, typically irritate people, like um, like in nature or in your yard, for example, um, if you if you have like uh, like a lot of um, like little walls or fences or something, it's difficult to mow around there, and then the uh, grass can grow up and weeds can grow up right in that place where it's hard to get. But there are ways to use edges um, because they. They can actually be more productive than, uh, than, than basically, uh, uh, you know, the whole normal expanse of your property. Uh, creatively use and respond to change. That that falls back to observation and uh, look at everything that you see and see what kind of uh, see what kind of yield you can get out of it. Now, for me, I failed to do that when I didn't invest in Bitcoins. Oh, I'm serious. Like, that's that's got to be the greatest regret of my whole life, <laughs> was failing to invest in Bitcoins when when I first became impressed with them and and uh, had a desire to, to get into it. Uh, they were like, like about four or five dollars each <laughs> back then. And man, if I'd have put any money at all into it, uh, I'd probably be retired by now. <laughs> but um, let's go back to catch and store energy. Uh, that is a really 
that's a really critical uh, aspect of permaculture. And it, it, and it can apply to people who live in an apartment, uh, if you're just, even if you're living in a room that you're renting, it can still apply. Um, what that means is catch and store energy, you can basically look at the streams of energy that are flowing through your life. And I'm not talking metaphysical stuff, I'm talking actual energy, like, uh, like uh, of course, food and water, uh, fuel, uh, uh, heating energy, and of course money. <laughs> and basically set things up so that more energy is flowing into your life than out. Um, and then eventually you'll have a nest egg that's growing and growing. And even if it's very slow, eventually you'll be able to put that to work. Now me, um, I saw um, back when I was younger, I, I, I lost a little bit of money during the dot-com bubble boom burst. And uh, I lost... I kind of lost faith in uh, the stock market, and I figured any energy that I catch uh, would just be lost to the Wall Street criminals and the Enron executives and people like that. So I stopped investing, except for what I had to invest uh, through my work retirement and whatnot, but um, I pretty much stopped investing in Wall Street. Uh, then. In, and I had extra money, so I began doing things like just paying down my mortgage every month. I just dumped extra money into the mortgage every month, and I also did things like purchasing precious metals and stuff like that. And eventually, I reached the point where I paid that freaking place off, and then I bought this house and turned the condo over to a renter. So the energy which I have caught and stored in my life over a, over 11 years uh, basically is now paying off in the form of about 380 a month uh, profit after taxes, homeowners association dues, uh, um, yeah, and, and that's pretty much it. Uh, <clears throat> so basically almost 400 bucks a month income from the condo is a re direct result of catching and storing that energy in my life and uh, and basically uh, and now it's producing energy for me um, it, it works out to about an 11 percent return um, on its assessed value every year in in profit uh, good luck trying to get that at Wall Street. <laughs> Your average Wall Street returns don't don't pay that, and you risk a lot more than I'm risking with the condo. So uh, I believe that is a better solution. Um, now let me see. Uh, there is the principles of permaculture, and then there's of course the ethics, which I won't get into right now, but. Um, Obtain a yield, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now with the condo. So uh, catch and store energy and then obtain a yield. The reason why you do anything is you're obtaining some kind of yield. Um, and basically that, uh, that will pay you for your efforts. you got to make sure that you're paid in a way for your efforts. It doesn't have to be money. <laughs> Uh, for me, in my case, with this YouTube channel, although I, I put a little bit of time into it, but not very much at all. I don't script my videos. I just, when I come up with an idea that I want to share that I think is relevant, uh, turn the camera on and start recording. And I, I publish, I post about maybe 95% <laughs> of these videos with, with the, all the with all the ums and uhs included. <laughs> uh, yeah, not much style there. So, obtain a yield. Um, yeah, and then basically one of the... I'm going to talk briefly about one of, the, one of the ethics of permaculture, which is often misunderstood and misused, uh, and that is um, 
return of surplus or share the surplus. Um, in order to have your system, your design, you, the life that you have, uh, that you've designed, in order for it to, to be sustainable, uh, you need to feed energy back into it. Now, in my case, um, the energy I feed back into it is, of course, my effort at work. And, um, but in a way, I share the surplus with my renter over at the condo. For example, uh, that's a two bedroom, one and three quarter bath condo and an apartment of that, um, of that size uh, with two bathrooms basically and two parking places, uh, that would probably go for about $1,200 nearby. Um, and I am charging about $920 a month, right? So every month that goes by I'm almost splitting the profit with the with the renter and and the result is she is benefiting from the uh, from that return of surplus and I'm also benefiting and the result is she'll be more likely to stay there longer so yeah so obtain a yield and return of surplus so I'm gonna put a post a link in these uh, uh, on this permaculture website here uh, to the uh, principles and even even if you're like just a guy in an apartment or a guy in a rented room or something you can still catch and store energy and eventually and gradually a little at a time you can uh, you can obtain a yield and then then you apply time to what you've created and work on it year after year and 20 years from now you will probably be in a pretty decent spot <laughs> now me i uh i failed to i failed to uh n to observe and interact well enough with bitcoins otherwise i'd be a friggin bitcoin millionaire by now <laughs> but i'm interacting with it now um and i'm watching this hard and um uh, and I am putting my <clears throat> my surplus into that for the time being and if trends continue the way they have been for the last for the last five years uh, I might actually be able to retire in a couple years and then do permaculture full-time that would be friggin awesome I'd like to be a my dream is to be a mechanic at a permaculture farm and uh, do permaculture and maintain the equipment and the uh, the fleet of the farm and the farm equipment and weld chicken tractors together and uh, fix uh, fix the electric net fencing uh, and help to design uh, the properties and learn how these are this is done and then in time maybe I might want my own farm and that that's a lot of fun <laughs> well I guess I'll let you go. So, catch and store energy and uh, obtain a yield. Um, two things you need to, uh, you would be wise to look at um, if you're going to apply these principles to your life. So, see ya.